This is my prototype two cylinder pneumatic Lego engine uh, that I've created. Uh, this was pretty much created uh, in the space of a few hours and it took a bit of experimentation uh, to, uh, I guess, to get right. Uh, it's now running, so uh, this will eventually put, uh, be put into a tractor um, or other type of low speed vehicle that I'm thinking of developing. Um, anyway, this is the engine itself. Uh, just to put it into, per into some perspective, that's uh, one of the air pumps, uh, the Lego air pump. Uh, now, this uh, only supplies a limited amount of air, but uh, it is somewhat enough enough to run the engine uh, at, a s at a reasonable speed, I guess. Uh, even with a with limited amount of air, you'll notice this engine has a, a massive amount of torque. Anyway, we'll get to that shortly. Um, here's just a quick look around the engine. It's a two-cylinder design, uh, so it can basically run without stalling, and uh, it does not require a flywheel with, uh, in order to keep running. Uh, you can see here with the crank uh, that I've uh, actually put it at a 90-degree offset. So basically what that means is, uh, as one piston, uh, one cylinder I should say, is, uh, is doing work, uh, it's pulling the other one over the dead cycle. So this piston's dead, this one's right in its prime, it's going to pull or push either way. Um, you'll see this more in a sec as well. And as it does so, it pulls this one, um, it pulls this one through the dead cycle. This one then it becomes dead, and this one's in its prime, and this one pulls this one over as well. Anyway, all that means is uh, you can start the engine from any position. And uh, it's not like a single cylinder setup where you need to flick a flywheel to get it started. Um, okay, uh, so let's have a look at the valve gear before we go any further. I've uh, implemented two switch blocks here. Um, so as you can see, these are the LEGO pneumatic switch blocks. Um, and this one services the second cylinder or the rear cylinder. And this one here on the front services the front cylinder or the number one cylinder. Um, so the valve timing is obviously separate uh, from each cylinder. Uh, the front the valve gearing uh, is derived directly off the crank here via this pulley and uh, this uh, little rod. Um, you'll see it more as, as when I start it up shortly. The rear, um, I've had to implement a, a gear train of sorts to sort of uh, in initiate or to work the valve timing for the second cylinder simply because I needed space for the flywheel which will eventually be hooked up to a drive train of sorts um, alright so well let's get this thing going and uh, you'll notice that it is quite slow but uh, the amount of air this this pump is creating is not that great so uh, the fact that the engine's running at all is quite a quite a good thing really um, alright so let's give it a few pumps and you will see that uh, the engine will begin to turn. So as I said, it's running quite slow at the moment, uh, but the amount of air that's being pumped through, basically this air pump displaces one cylinder here. So um, the fact that each cylinder is double acting, and there's two of them, um, I envision that probably three or four of these pumps would be sufficient to get this thing moving at a sufficient rate of speed. Um, Alright, um, so that's basically it. Um, that's the engine running there. Um, and we've got a little bit quicker on the pump. We've got a bit of an increase in speed there. Um, I'm holding the camera as well, so it's not exactly easy to do. Uh, so yes, that's basically it. Um, the only problem I'm having, it's not really a problem, but uh, creating a bit of internal friction is these switch blocks have uh, inbuilt notches in them, as you probably know if you've uh, ever dealt with this. Um, you can probably see, I don't know if you can see there, but there's a bit of flex in the engine um, as the, the valve gear tries to overcome the notches as the switch goes from up to down. It's not a big deal by any... By any um, degree I guess as the engine can easily continue to turn um, and there's no problem at all 
if I stop the engine here and then I try to give it just one pump or another pump even one more single pump it easily starts up again so the engine stops now and give it one more pump um, one more pump there is no stalling the engine starts clean each time no matter which position it stops at there's no problems getting going again even continues to run slightly after I finish pumping um, this is just the fridge starting up let's give it another few pumps just to easily start up and continue running the amount of torque this thing puts out is something else as well I'm just going to demonstrate that now I'm going to put my hand here or my fingers here on the flywheel and I'm going to give it a few pumps let's see if I can stop this thing so it's quite a lot of twisting force here I'm trying to stop it from turning Oh, let's turn the engine over and let's want to continue to turn. Um, the tremendous amount of force there on my fingers as I'm trying to stop the flywheel from turning over, but uh, I'm pumping now, as you can probably hear. And uh, yes, the engine just continues to turn. Um, when hooked up to a sachet frame, uh, this thing is going to generate a tremendous amount of torque through a drivetrain. Um, so I'm trying to stop it turning now but uh, it just wants to turn um, I don't think a, a great amount of reduction will be needed with an engine such as this um, so as you can see I've got my timing for the first cylinder Up here you've got your second cylinder and then you've got the timing gears the rear timing gears I guess and then the switch block for the rear cylinder um, all in all a very torquey engine not very fast but we'll see how fast it goes once I hook it up to more pumps. Uh, I'm just going crazy with the pump right now and uh, it's doing a pretty good rate of speed. Um, won't need much reduction I think uh, in a tractor and uh, it should be a very torquey engine. Um, uh, apologies for all the different colored bricks as well. I've sort of had to build this from limited supply so I've got some more on order and I'm gonna swap out the bits that don't quite match up in color soon. And I'll uh, hopefully keep you all updated. Alright, cheers.